Hello and welcome to Analog Insights. In today's episode, my friend Greg and I review the original Mamiya 6, which is a 6x6 medium format folder camera produced from 1940 all the way up until the late 1950s. The camera is a Mamiya Seiichi design and its most important feature is a coupled rangefinder that does not focus using um, the lens or focusing the lens and moving it, but instead moving the film plane via a thumb at the back um, of the camera, so a thumb wheel or dial, that once you move it, you're moving the film plane instead of the lens and um, have a completely different focusing mechanism that is, as a result, less complex than the typical lens coupling systems. The Mamiya 6 um, came in a couple of different iterations in the course of its production time, and we believe here we have a 1955 model, uh, Mamiya 4B, that comes with the beautiful 75mm Olympus D Zuiko lens that is fully coated, um, a Seikosha shutter and already features a couple of more advanced features and most importantly more square design elements in contrast to the earlier rounded design elements um, of earlier models. As always we took the camera out for a in this case casual photo walk in the fall uh, around Würzburg um, shooting some Ilford HP5, which Greg Stan developed afterwards to reduce the amount of grain and get some really nice results out of this lens, and also some Kodak Gold 200, but unfortunately we, we encountered some problems with the first iteration of um, roads that we shot and developed during the development process and um, then in the bleaching process and because of that Greg had to redo a couple of shots and um, of course it was difficult to take the shots at the very same uh, locations and for some of the images we just don't have footage um, so I hope this is fine by you. We did our best as always to um, replicate the images and give you great results um, that show what the lens is capable of. Um, so, as always, let's dive in there and take a closer look at the original Mamiya 6. So what about the design and the features of the original Mamiya 6? The camera weighs around 800 grams and is quite compact when folded. In order to unfold it, you just need to press this button here and then you can extract the lens. And the most important features, as briefly mentioned, are the coupled rangefinder and um, a, a double exposure prevention system that uses a little red flag in your viewfinder. And um, it also um, yeah, works in combination with the automatic film advance. Um, so once you've advanced your film um, correctly, um, you are good to go again. Overall, the design is very clean and in my opinion aged well. I particularly like this model here with the more square elements in the design um, in comparison to the earlier, earlier rounded elements. Um, so this is really a matter of taste, um, but to me, especially the square elements here really look quite modern and sleek. Um, the top plate only features the shutter release button, a distance indication window with depth of field scale, a film advance with a frame counter, and a cold shoe and an opening um, button that I've already mentioned. The most important um, additional controls are placed at the back of the camera with the film advance lock release on the left side and a thumb wheel for focusing on the right side, which I've already mentioned. And this uh, thumb wheel get, needs a little bit getting used to, um, also focusing with your thumb. You have it on a couple of other cameras as well. 
Um, but it's really remarkable that basically the lens and the bellows stay completely in place so there's no movement at all and all the movement is happening inside the camera on the film plane and you can focus between the minimum focusing distance of 0.95 meters and infinity. When opening the bag, you see uh, in relation to that an additional cover on the back of the film, which needs to be in place there in order to focus correctly and basically in order to hold the film in place and ensure that you have a clean, nice film plane. Um, that is always at the correct point. So also when you're in the used market, we will mention that in a minute, it's important to look out that you have this additional film camera cover because otherwise the camera is basically useless and worthless. Um, the close back shows a slider that can be revealed um, or that reveals a black, a red window that lets you see directly onto the back cover of your film um, or the backing paper of your film, which um, was more relevant in earlier models of the camera in order to make sure that you don't do any kind of un accidental double exposures um, but you basically advance correctly with your film from the one frame to the next using the automatic film advance that this model here already features it's not really necessary but of course you can use the window to double check whether you are at the right frame or whether you put in the film correctly and really start at the very first frame the bottom of the camera only features a uh, tripod socket and all other essential controls are on the lens itself as is common for this kind of camera design. So you have the shutter speed settings um, typically ranging from f um, uh, from one five hundredths of a second um, to one second plus a bulb mode for the Seikota um, shutter and um, the lens um, has an aperture ranging from f 3.5 to f 22. As is common, the lens also features an additional lever to cock the shutter um, before taking the shot. Please note that the Mamiya 5 model in that series already comes with a switch to, ch to basically change formats. So you can both shoot 6x6 medium format but also 6x4.5 medium format film and even the um, film counter um, is coupled with that feature. So really, really nice. You can switch basically when putting in a new roll and um, have a different frame counter setting um, and um, um, yeah, basically shoot a different format. So if that is important to you, we found it worth mentioning that there's another model out there that might be really interesting to some of you. Unfortunately, our model does not have it, so it's 6x6 six six only, but it's still interesting and worth mentioning. So what about the optical performance of the 75mm Zoico lens? Um, to me at least, these images have a very nice vintage feel to them. And as a viewer, you're really drawn into the images and the beautiful bokeh, the out of focus um, area rendering, to me at least, reminded me often to um, large format photography and um, has a similar sense and sensibility and look to it. Um, I could also not find any kind of problems in the images, at least in most cases they are yeah, sharp into every corner, there's hardly any vignetting and there's a beautiful contrast and recording of a lot of details in these frames. Um, so really really nice 6x6 six six medium format images. And um, I found the quality quite impressive and um, because of that looked up the lens a little bit and found out, okay, it's a four elements in three groups um, design and it comes with fully coated um, lenses. This is what the FC stands for in the name here. 
And I also looked up how it was described at the time in the manual, and this is interesting, I, I think, quote, um, it, it is described as perfect elimination, it comes with perfect elimination of all kinds of aber aberrations, curvature, field, astigmatism, coma, spherical and chromatic aberration, would assure you with the best pictures of both black and white and color with always crisp definition, unquote. And Personally, I find it impressive that such a quality in 6x6 medium format realm is available at that price point today. And um, of course, you should not compare this lens and the rendering with the modern 1990s Mamiya 6 iteration with their modern lenses and their completely different rendering. So if you're in the market for that and look for an inexpensive alternative, the Mamiya 6 is not it, certainly not. But if you're like me and have a general interest in, in vintage lenses and vintage cameras, um, then to me at least this camera is worth taking a look because of the lens alone. And then you have the coupled rangefinder mechanism on, with the interesting focus plane, uh, film plane focusing on top of that. Um, so to me the lens alone is really really interesting and worth taking a look. A look. It produces fantastic images in my opinion where you cannot find many mistakes um, in, in our findings here. What about the handling and our personal impressions? Like many other similar 6x6 medium format folder cameras, for instance also the Pekeo that we have reviewed here before, the original Mamiya 6 slows you down. Um, it's just a bit more work to take a photograph and you always have to remember to maybe cock the shutter and do a couple of other things correctly and only if everything is in place you're finally ready to take your shot. And if you're in the mood for that it can be a beautiful contemplative um, thing to do that and yet of course we also sometimes found ourselves already pressing the shutter without having it cocked before with the additional lever on the lens this just happens and yeah it's common i would say we both nevertheless really enjoyed the camera and especially the the focusing mechanism that is just working wonderfully the, the limited focusing throw is really nice um, and overall, overall a really nice compact camera. Loading film is a little bit tricky and we wanted to caution you against that because you should make sure that you not accidentally um, touch the advanced um, uh, lock lever because then um, it would start counting up from one and you would not be able to advance anymore at a certain point um, even if you have not fully put in the film already. So you should own, always be careful not to touch that, put in the film correctly, um, add the additional plate on top, then close it and then you're good to go and it will start automatically and correctly count up from one at the right place. And as briefly mentioned before, always make sure that this um, additional plate here that you put at the back um, of the film uh, before closing the back cover is included because otherwise the camera is useless. If you are a camera collector interested in technological advances and also the roads less traveled and less explored and maybe features that are um, the odd ones out in the camera history, um, then, in my opinion, this camera here with the special focusing uh, mechanism is really interesting. And to me, also the lens uh, and the design here um, play a particular role um, as a good reason for a camera collector to buy this one here. The lens is simply fantastic and outstanding. And the design, as previously mentioned, aged well, especially here with these square elements. 
Given the quality of the lens and the compact form factor, this camera is of course well suited for traveling and street shots and similar applications. The only limitation that I see is the 0.95 meters um, minimum focusing distance. So it's not really great for closer portraits or close ups and so on, but you can basically shoot almost everything with it and capture the scenes nicely with that beautiful vintage feel of the Zuiko lens. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Analog Insights and our review of the original Mamiya 6. A beautiful 6x6 medium format folder camera, super compact, very nice for traveling, for street shots and so on. And it really stands out because of that unique focusing mechanism and the fantastic Zuiko lens that in my opinion gives you images an immediate vintage feel that reminds me a little bit of a large format photograph. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember to like it and maybe even share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel. Jules, Greg and I really appreciate each and every subscriber coming our way. So thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon. Bye.